Hi, and welcome to Season 2 of That's Roddy Mysterious, a podcast of short tales about true mysteries. What created the Potomsky Crater? Who was involved in the 1963 Great Train Robbery? I'm not going to solve those mysteries, but they'll be interesting to learn about. I'm your host, Kelly with an I. Transcripts and references for all episodes can be found at thatsruddymysterious.wordpress.com. No apostrophe and no exclamation point. Today's tale is about Brooke Greenberg and Syndrome X. Brooke Greenberg was born in January of 1993 to parents Howard and Melanie Greenberg from Ryerstown, Maryland. She was a month premature and was about four pounds. At her birth, Brooke required surgery for an anterior hip dislocation, but was otherwise healthy. Brooke died on October 24, 2013, at the age of 20. However, in those 20 years, she didn't mature past the physical size of a toddler with the mental capacity similar to that of a two-year-old. Brooke suffered from something called Syndrome X. The X was a placeholder for unknown. There have been two other people that suffered from the same syndrome. A 40-year-old man in Australia appeared to be about four years old in 2013. Gabby Williams is from Montana. In August of 2013, she was eight years old with the skin of a newborn, and she weighed only 11 pounds. She was two feet tall. People who suffer from Syndrome X are said to be real-life Benjamin Buttons, a character from a movie who ages in reverse. During a June 23, 2009 interview with ABC's 2020, Brooke Greenberg was 16 years old. She weighed about 16 pounds and was 30 inches tall. In all her life, Brooke never weighed more than 17 pounds. Brooke couldn't speak, but laughed when she was happy, and she recognized her three sisters. Melanie Greenberg said of her daughter, She loves to shop just like a woman. Melanie explained that she had a hard time answering when people asked how old Brooke was during their outings. She explained, My system has always been to turn years into months, so if someone asked today, I might say she's 16 months old. Caitlin Greenberg said of Brooke, She looks like a six-month-old, but she kind of has a personality of a 16-year-old. Sometimes we joke about how she rebels. Between the time of the interview and her death, only Brooke's hair and fingernails grew. At the age of 16, she still had all of her baby teeth, and her bone age was estimated to be about 10 years old. Brooke's childhood was filled with medical emergencies. Until she was six, she suffered from several medical emergencies, often recovering without any explanation. Brooke had seven surgeries for perforated stomach ulcers. She suffered from a brain seizure, followed by a stroke. Strangely, weeks later, there was no apparent brain damage noticed. At the age of four, Brooke fell into a lethargy that caused her to sleep for 14 days. She stopped growing entirely between the ages of four and five. Doctors found a brain tumor and told Brooke's parents that she wouldn't survive. The Greenbergs bought a casket for Brooke, sure that she would not survive. Howard explained to ABC in the 2009 interview, We were preparing for our child to die. We were saying goodbye, and then we got a call that there was some change. That Brooke had opened her eyes and she was fine. There was no tumor. She overcomes every obstacle that is thrown her way. Telomeres are a region of repetitive DNA sequences at the end of a chromosome. Every time a cell divides, the telomeres become smaller. Eventually, the cell can no longer divide and the cell dies. It's believed that telomeres are linked to aging. Richard F. Walker is a retired medical researcher from the University of Florida Medical School. He's an endocrine physiology specialist. Walker has studied Brooke's case since she was two years old. He believes that the X chromosome may be related to Syndrome X, but this only explains the girls who have had the syndrome. 
Walker says that Brooke's telomeres correlate to her actual age. He also says her second X chromosome was not damaged. Walker compared Brooke's genetic code to that of other children. He said that Brooke's body doesn't develop altogether, but instead is independent parts that are in sync. There are no chromosomal abnormalities or genetic syndromes that can explain this growth. Walker told ABCnews.com, In some people, something happens to them, and the development process is retarded. The rate of change in the body slows and is negligible. There have been very minimal changes in Brooke's brain. Various parts of her body, rather than all being at the same age, seem to be disconnected. Walker wants to figure out what is wrong with the children who suffer from Syndrome X, as well as if other family members could pass on the genes for this syndrome. Walker also studied Gabby Williams from Billings, Montana, who only weighed 11 pounds, as well as a man from Florida who was 29 years old, but had the body of a 10-year-old. Both never seemed to age. Walker said, My whole career has been focused on the aging process. My fixation has been not on the consequences, but the cause of it. Eric Schatt, the director of the Icon Institute for Genomics and Multiscale Biology at the Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York City, said, It was a pretty amazing genotype that she had, suspended development and lack of aging on the outside. It sounded pretty amazing, and the more I checked it out, the more interesting it became. Shat thinks it's possible that Brooke's genes are the secret to aging. He sequenced Brooke's genes and found three mutated genes that had not been seen before. Two of the three genes may be related to aging. Shat said, we still know very little about aging. Progress in understanding aging hasn't been amazing. Many of the paths taken haven't delivered as we thought they would. The contribution of someone like Brooke could help tremendously. Because a case like hers is so unique, the advances it could drive could be amazing and well worth the effort to explore. Gabby Williams also suffered from Syndrome X. She was born to parents Mary Margaret and John Williams in 2004. When she was born, she was purple and limp. Tests showed a brain abnormality and her optic nerve was damaged, making her blind. Gabby had two heart defects, a cleft palate, and an abnormal swallowing reflex. Genetic tests on Gabby came back with no known genetic conditions. During a 2013 interview, Gabby was nine years old and weighed only 11 pounds. She was only two feet tall. Mary Margaret said of her daughter that she hadn't changed since pretty much forever, only that she had gotten a little longer and that they had started putting Gabby in size three to six month clothing instead of zero to three months. Mary Margaret continued that the last time Gabby was weighed, she had gained a pound to be 11 pounds. She also said that Gabby had gotten a few haircuts, but other than that, things had remained the same. Mary Margaret also said that since Gabby was born, they didn't expect her to live very long, and the fact that she was nine years old surpassed their expectations. It takes Gabby four years to age one year. At first, Gabby's parents didn't want her to be studied. They are Catholics and believe that we are meant to age and die. They believed that studying Gabby could help science prevent that. They eventually agreed to have Gabby studied because she could help with diseases like Alzheimer's. What causes Syndrome X? Why do some people never age? What do you think? Thanks for listening to today's episode of That's Ruddy Mysterious. I'm your host, Kelly with an I. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a review and follow That's Ruddy Mysterious to be updated about new episodes. Tune in next Tuesday for another thought-provoking tale.